Aura. El Loki so, es jungla, ¿no? Ahora un solo, un hermedio, Cherno ADC. Yo la verdad que pondría el Cherno medio. Más rotación. Well, Sam has already finished up his uh, Doom or Variety in a lot of trouble. Crushing Wave off the mark. Pulling back Sam, trying to find some more damage, but Variety is really far up a creek. No paddle available to him. Captain Twig has made his way over, though. Hits the invisibility, but look at the damage coming back in return. Forced to walk away. Yeah, we're talking about that blink. He's played cool. Pero creo que el Twig aporta cosas, eh. Aporta... Aporta cosas que ojalá aportara un jungla normal, tío, que es que le, no le da miedo morir. Uh, uh, channel that ultimate ready and then as soon as Loki comes over fire it off. And this is one of the main destructions. Madre mía, cómo está Lebo, chaval. Forces the bead here, but it's gonna be too early from Fino, and he's still gonna get pulled back into the coffin. Captain Twigs here, but this guy has a lot of HP to dig through. Assassinate finishes that one thing we haven't seen happen so far. Sam has been able to weave these ganks in to when Variety doesn't have that heal. Doesn't have any healing either, and Panda Cat doesn't miss a single auto attack. The root off the mark, and Panda walks through, and the bounce isn't gonna connect, but that auto will. Fall too far. Behind, but eh, Variety on the other hand is in trouble. Porque, still trying to find Panda Cat, but Captain Twig gets eviscerated, Ooh. caught between a ho ye and a wall. But Panda Cat is still going to get caught down. out by Netroid. Surely no way out for the ADC, but Polar Bear Mike around the side. Panda Cat is having basico. to fight genetics. And the stun should be able to help Hoji Huge for part of the Panda, eh? Still scaling to the point where they are happy to team fight. Big Men team's taking the early rotations to that Gold Fury and uh, an early rotation to the duel. And the Cat's gonna get stunned out there. Has to jump Let's away. And Captain Twig looking to go straight back down onto him. Assassinate comes through and Panda Cat is gonna be the first Oof. target in this engagement. Polar Bear Mike once again trapped in the water but is able to blink away. So the fight. Pero cuando está viendo un coach y va a 015 y porque es un coach del poker, hermano, se confunde mi gameplay con el mío. O sea, es que me quedo calvo, hermano. ¡Ay, ay, ay! La ulti del pegón. I'm sure he doesn't mind sacrificing himself for the gold fury. In this early situation, it is the fire giant. Already half HP, but Fino is in the wall. Looking to just do some disruption, and it will be enough so far to keep the Camelot Kings out. But Fino's still in this wall. Essentially gets caught out here. The beat's expended, and now the pullback should be able to find the life of the Cleo. The Aegis is used, but it's not going to be enough. Fino K falls down. I was waiting for the Kepper to up the pressure so he cannot back. Los falsos ultisieros. Denunciando lo mismo crimen que cometen ellos. Pero claro, como yo soy el famoso Entonces se la hago yo, está horrible Pero se la hacen ellos Huele, le doy full alfa, eh Wall of water catches the entire J Dragons in the wall. A deer side right before they get to the strongest point of their team comp. Kings could not be happier right now. A fire giant, the only thing they could really want is an EFG, but a fire giant at 24 minutes when a bunch of towers are yet to be taken as well. They're going to get a huge goal. Huge Peter. Espero que los Kings ganen la tercera partida, la segunda partida. Porque esta la van a perder los dragones. You know what, bro? There is 20 seconds left on the nearest lifeline. I think they can end, but they'll look at me. I, I, I don't think that they're going to. I think there is potentially an opening, but the Camelot Kings, I don't think, are the kind of team to want to push that. Biggest win condition is to pull in a frontliner and kill them. But genetics level 19 and very yeah. tanky at this point. The Phoenix already falling nice to shoot. half HP. Pagon was charging up that ultimate oh, skill. Yeah, using yeah, yeah, yeah. the back line of variety, looking to pull someone in. Ooh, Final well, that's how I hit no? the But the Phoenix is still alive for yeah. now. Commitment there from J Dragons, that Thoth ultimate, those cleaner ultimates to get them off the Phoenix. Now Kings can just walk back in, make a little space for themselves, and take. Thing to do with this fire giant, they don't care. They would way rather try and defend at that last bastion, that right Phoenix. Three and a half minutes on that fire giant buff. Right, he steps right up already. Fine, okay. Expending one of those charges of the Cleo ultimate. Pagon is threatening the final judgment still. 
Camelot Chill. Kings, as you mentioned, they're just jiggling around at this point. They've got plenty of time to play with. Yeah, they're just waiting for those minions to come up. Even Sam for Soccer having to hold it. Hey, like, no, I can't hold. Won't have to go back to mid anymore. But Kings Kings. Yo, el Toth no quita una mierda. Madre mía, cómo está la aura. In fact, half health already. That's a luxury. Yeah, that was just based on one step back that the Jade Dragons took. Yep. Kings are able to walk in, just hit it a few times, and look at that. The Phoenix nearly dead. One or two more Orthos should do it from the uh, the Camelot Kings. And well, the rest of the Jade Dragons, they have to back off at this point. Tienen que pelear en medio sí o sí aquí. Si no, pierden automáticamente la partida. Si le tiran medio y no hacen nada, pierden. Now they can actually use that left wave for mid Phoenix here as well. Somebody will have to go over there and respect that wave, and they just get this mid Phoenix for free. J Dragon's not willing to fight at all at this point. Polo Van Mike usually very confident in trying to pick a frontliner. No sé por qué, no sé. Able to do it, able to burn down this Phoenix in an instant. Variety getting very confident here now that he has the loner's ones. Pulling back, Polo Van Mike, and already is in the ground and the Riptide's gonna keep him back for more. No Scarra's blessing to save the life of the support. Captain Twig blinking forward, looking to find the damage on the Sam for soccer, but the return is gonna be good. Netrioid forced down to half HP as well, but this is gonna be final. Hey, falling down Lo next haber hecho three remaining antes, la defenders here. The Jade Dragons have to do the impossible and the Camelot Kings. They'll stay. They're waiting around for a little bit. They're looking for that left Oni wave to push through. And at the moment, the Jade Dragons have to get distracted the healing from genetics is pouring in. The Camelot Kings are two, and now the Titan is the main focus. There's the River's Rebuke. Up and down goes Netroy, trying to slow down everyone he can. But the Jade Dragons, no option. Bien, la la We're going to be fighting over here. Por and the Camelot Kings will draw someone Lo over. Just to make sure you're always fighting that. Mm. Able to stem the bleeding and make sure Jade Dragons don't no get much damage. Main main this time, Polo Ben Mac really going to force this lead. Uh, he not not goes for Ryanty, but not able to find the immunity. Has to do some dodging, Ooh. but no. So, hey. Your auto attacks have more auto attack in them now. <laughs> Go do that. And it's not like they really need the AOE or the healing from Terra. They have that from Baron. Meanwhile, Pagan actually catching Captain Twig here. No silence available, and I think the destruction should be on the board for Captain no. Twig, but that is where Sir Ket shines. This Play in, and the Camelot Kings have to drop it for now. Pagan able to get a pretty decent ult onto BMT, who does have the leap over the wall. Pagan, though, in some trouble, but scratch that, it's not Pagan at all. His ultimate really isn't much use against the Sir Ket, so they have to respect it more. Captain Twig once again getting caught out and he's dead before he hits the ground. Por ahí anda un señor llamado Buena Pinga Julio, pero no sé si es español. Porque se pondría ese nombre si no es español. Polo Ben Mike might be a kill himself. Oh yeah, definitely in a bad position. Already used all of his mobility, rooted back down. There's the stun, there's the kill. Captain Twig nice puts kill. the first one on the board for the Kings. And they're still hunting too, but this time Variety, I don't think I'm able to catch them, but the sprint will help. Hammer Ooh. acts off the mark, but jumping in, Genetics looking to find more. Sam for Soccer, the second one. Double kill, San but Roleando, Captain Twig eh? in final K jumps in just a hand. General, lo critico de San Rotísimo ahora mismo. Set up God right now, and she has a good amount of setup. Medidas, lo de Hyder yeah, para el... To maybe alt Genetics, for example. Para el siguiente parche. Creo que me tienen un bonus hace no sé cuánto. Genetics and Captain Twig moving over, and the damage that's coming out onto final K. No wall available for him. Destruction. Captain Twig finds one, now looking to find a little bit extra. There's the Stinger from PPM to try and stop Captain Twig from getting away. There's Going to be successful. Captain Sapper Soccer getting pulled back in here, but instead finds a polar bear mic. Beautiful body blocking from the support player. Sam could still Muy be in danger. Sam. Variety charging forward, still surging to find more. Genetics slips nice through please. into the back line, but through the wall goes Pagon. And that should be the end of aggression from the Camelot Kings. Pagon, though. Ro, he's in a bad position. The Kings looking to potentially flank, but they're going to back off. This could be a fire giant. Cuando se acaba este torneo, a confident hoy. call, an ambitious call, I would say. I think Pagon has a good chance to disrupt this. Pagon, though, he's caught up by Captain Twig, and the damage that comes through is insane. Isn't able to walk into the wall, the damage too hard. Yo but Netroid right now in so much trouble. Panda Cat lands down from the airstrike into the axe, and Variety picks that one up. I'm calling it now. Yet on genetics, so it will be slightly slower. But I'm not sure J Dragons even want to contest this at this point. They don't care. Genetics has the Shogun's Kusari online. All of a sudden, J Dragons are left in a much poorer spot. Wild that we've been on this patch for a month. That is absolutely crazy. J Dragons able to take away the Pyromancer. 
for the Camelot Kings. I don't think are too worried about that one just yet. Con 399 te pillas en la capizarra. La verdad que creo que quiero ese box. No sé si vender el agua marina que está está guapa, cabrón. Pero es que la pizarra es top y encima más barata. Buena ulti el yo me la voy a pillar Para jugar en el Para jugar en En la casa Lo lamento Sabaneo Let's go 2 One Titan and three members of the Jade Dragon stand between the Camelot es Kings final. and the Tartarus la Titans. Final de la They've broken Dragon. through the base, but Netrioid takes a huge chunk of damage from Fine Okay, and that's already in the pregunta, ¿por qué carajo no okay, se han hecho el fire? Back to the fire giant. Not quite EFG, still three minutes on that, but the Camelot Kings have been able to catapult. That last mid wave is their last fire giant wave, so they're pushing right before oh it hits. God. So Pagon has to stay in that mid wave because he has to defend that mid. That, that fire giant wave that's on the way. But the dragons can't even defend the left phoenix. That's the healthiest one of all, and they just let it go for free. Meanwhile, that's because they had to defend those fire waves. It's, it's really yeah. well played by Camelot Kings to push when they needed to. Absolutely insane. This Camelot Kings roster have boca. been able to just play this map like a fiddle, and now trying to push in to the middle wave as well. Netroid steps forward, and just a couple auto attacks do enough to take down the Phoenix. Just about Netroid. One more should do it. There it goes. Phoenix down, and only one left standing here. The right hand side. All members of the J Dragons are here, and there are some big ultimates available if they can connect them and get a couple picks. We could see a turnaround. Kings will regroup now. They probably will group around genetics who will pop that ultimate and they'll just get ready to blow up this titan it's up to the j dragons now to find a pick on somebody in it and stop that dps from coming onto their titan this is all or nothing the j dragon staring down defeat and elimination camelot kings one more push should be able to find the victory for them if they play their cards right now just trying to test The defense of the Jade Dragons and Pagon eats an axe and most of his HP. Now Captain Twig going forward. Destruction comes through. Sam for soccer already es que forced Sam, to use the wave away. And Twig is no jumping out. No se da cuenta que es matando, tío, que sobrevivir sin hacer nada. Like, pull back through. And there's the damage coming back for Netrioid. Falling super low. Fine, okay. Has made his entrance and has to now get out. But now the frenzy is popped. Genetics in the draconic form. And now the health bars are still favoring the Jade Dragons. They have a pool of health right behind them, but the Camelot Kings don't. They're gonna call it off for now at least. Genetics still up in that ult. Yeah, they don't know that the Jade Dragons, sorry, the, the Camelot Kings know that they're there, but the Jade Dragons don't pull up their might, gets caught out. There's the ultimate through from Shibalanke, looking to make everyone blind on the enemy team, and PBM able to get the stinger off, but Genetics finds the first blood, and now Pagon stuck in this wall. He's got to pop out sometime, someplace, and he will surely fall down when he does, trying to just find an opening. Captain Twig and the rest of the team, he's just running out of health at this point. He's got to pop out. But surely he falls down. Nimble strike. Incense oh. off the mark. Pagon may be able to get out here. He's been able to avoid capture. Pagon essentially invisible. And now it's the enhanced fire gianted belted Camelot Kings charging down this right lane. The J Dragon threes. But it's just up to the J Dragons to look for a mistake, find some damage in that armor, and then capitalize on that. It's really difficult to find though when the whole team is just grouping together like this. 
Final case HP bar there, where he just had to dip back into the Phoenix. One hail of arrows from BM Ting. Uh, BM Ting <laughs> yeah. uh, is what was able to cause that just truly an absurd society and himself. But here it is, Ro. Oh, this is the end push. Everyone's grouped up. Frenzy is popped. There's the coerce and the Titan. It doesn't matter how many of the Jade Dragons are around it. It Oof. will fall down. I'm gonna pick back in the day. I'm not sure it's still that extreme anymore. So we may see Nemesis solo here. I've seen solo troll play it before in rank. Right. Side of SOT, Variety has not gone back pick up that Warlock staff. Captain Twig will rotate in, a blink onto SOT, and no ultimate for SOT to find a way. And he's gonna get pulled back into the coffin slowly, but he won't go through. It's a double ult out of the Kings, but they still haven't gotten that kill. Drop kick up against Layers, a dash away. Layers needs one more auto, or the ult from no SOT to turn him back around, she she the she she come out on top with first blood. Big man Tings though does have the rotation over Cyclone. ¿Quién cree que se lleve este match? Pues depende de lo que haga solo el troll late con el Osiris. But a better dash by Layers to fucking uh, consolation prize in the Pyromancer, but they actually went off it. They're going for Variety. Yeah, they made a shuffle up as far as their Layers goes, or Variety pulled back. No entiendo por qué regalar un game. Finds a big circle protection, Joder. not quite enough to take down Captain Twig, but Cyclone left Teniendo by himself. Teniendo en cuenta que los Titan han ganado. He said it's going to be a one-for-one one trade-out Variety for Cyclone. Yeah, and it looks like the Tartar's Titan will be able to grab this. Y los otros iban por la Lucer Bracket. Small answer back here. He is standing at Tier 2 Tower. Netroid does not care about anything thing the Tartarus Titans have. BMT has to beat, but Netroid's stealing away offerings right now. Yeah, and yeah now he's been s caught out. He'll get the CC Muni to be able to get back to the team. Layers slice and dice is good, but there are four members of the Kings here to bail out Netroid. He'll just turn around and bat a few more autos back, but now it's five from the Titan to leap in. We'll find Netroid for SOT. He will go down and finally pay for his transgressions. Genetics knocked up, Genetics knocked down. Layers turns it around and gets a second kill for the Titan. Primal Fury is not going to be able to do that. Huge rotation of this old troll, once again. That is the call for the Camelot Kings. I was expecting a final more adjusted, but they would have lost all of them. But being in the split 2 and the 3, and the Titans won all. But he was just fine. He's still very healthy on this Osiris. Now we'll finally have to leap away as Genetics leaps back in. Big Man Tings right behind finds good access. And we're going to have to find out if the Titans have lost their level. And we're going to have to find out if the Titans have lost their level. And we're going to have to find out if the Titans have lost their level. Comes up with the first kill of the fight. Yeah, the Tartarus Titans are able to run away, but what? SOT lazy back in the middle of the fight? Why are you yeah, backing so there, so SOT? Here, you man. may have just ended up costing the team the rest of this fight. Cyclone Spins got to use the airstrike, not feeling good about that one. Uh, it's the Tartarus Titans, and now that gives the Camelot Kings the option to no take bueno. the Primal Fury. I can't believe SOT was looking like the best player in the world, and then he just makes me my words make it a play like that. I mean, to be fair, if he does get back, the Tartarus Titans can quickly reset. Hold that thought. They're looking for an ambush. Los de NG ganaron el primer mundial como lo hicieron los Leviatanes y nada te está diciendo que no vaya a ganar los Leviatanes el segundo mundial seguido. Pero vamos que tuvieron medio problemas contra Obey en la final. No como cuando jugaron contra Cloud9 que eran los que ganaron la Season 1, se los mearon y luego en la final contra Enemy, se los mearon también. Is anywhere close? Circle protection is coming off cooldown as well. It's really well. Maybe it's a little bit of a shock. The circle protection is here. It's got to be secured by the Titans, and it is. Con toda la ventaja que le ha quedado sobre el troll, cabrón. Force that unless, of course, they're trying to fight right now. Cyclone Spin is going to take the one v one versus Captain Twig. No one is here to help. And Captain Twig uses the ultimate Cyclone Spin. We'll just walk him down. Air Strike. And a dive right back in. Oh. Maybe two more autos from Cyclone should grab that one through. Captain Twig does find the bleed. Yo, una cosa. Cyclone El Cyclone estaba Paul disparando a la pared, tío. Just... Oh, absolutely. I, I don't imagine either of these teams want to grab it right away if they can just wait a few more seconds and push it to that late game stage. Spirit Ball and a big sound of the Big Man Ting. Beads and Ages are down oh, for the Hunter. No, He's got to show himself out. Big Man Ting's low Cyclone will crit him down. Ahí. That's the first one going. Creo. The Tartar Titans push in. Spirit Ball gets the beads from Variety and SOT is still chop, chop, chopping away. Layers will pick up the kill on Variety. And they're going to keep chasing this one down. Who cares about a Fire Giant? You have a two-man advantage. They will. 
have to back up, though. This tier two tower is going to be a little bit too much to chew through that Titan. Can't be looked at. They're looking for a pick, though. SOT is getting damage, but is he really taking that much? No, not really. No, he's fighting it right back. Nitro has got to dash away. Will not be stunned encanta, by the tether. And the rest of the Titans are going to be a couple of them. Cyclone and Lair are taking the fire giant. Well, SOT will take the drop kick yeah, under yeah. the Phoenix. Nitro, so low. Nitro, gone. Sí, sí, Genetics, yeah. gone. It's only Captain Twig left to fight against the Tartarus Titans. He's doing everything that he can. But it's not going to be enough. Now the Así rest sí, of the Titans troll. have sí, sí, rallied hermano. around. It's Así a sí, Dia side for the Titans, the Camelot Kings. Only Así have a sí. few seconds till Big Man Tings is back up. But that's going to be a hard team. Yo, durado, eh, no, Yo duré tres turnos. They have a little bit of CC bueno, with the life of the party. Available, hecho Pokemon. So much damage from the Tyrus Titans. No one alive is able to kill SOT right now. Scarab's Blessing is still here. Big Man Tings rooted out. Has to jump away. But Variety gets silenced out. Gets Spirit Ball. Gets pulled back. And gets brought down. Cyclone credited to the kill, and now it is only Big Man Tings left to defend. The Tartarus Titans will march through and take game number one away from the Camelot Kings. Real quick, right? Here's my prediction. Ola mid. Sorry, Ola jump. He learned where they go, and now he's able to steal them away from genetics. So I increased his brain knowledge. You might see an ultimate finally being used here, but it's just for a red buff invade. All. We'll have to walk away. Genex uses the Draconic Transformation, but he gets pulled back. Stunned down. Layers still has some good damage to throw back, but Aurora's the one who is low. A bite comes back to pull genetics away from Aurora. Aurora should be able to find a way out. Netroid now half HP. SOT is rotated over. Cyclone's doing with the Uy. airstrike just off the mark. But one more auto will do it. Cyclone's bien, 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 bien. first blood. A little bit of aggression should be enough. Bien, to be mejor entrenador. At least. Si sí, está esperando que diga Ancelotti, no lo voy a decir. Oh no, Genetics. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no, Genetics. Pick up a second kick team now, just watching the farm go up. That is sort of how farming works. Genetics gets immediately picked up. Dropped into the lightning storm. Genetics has a leap to find his way right back out. A root is good. SOT has joined the party. Genetics stunned out. Hazard Draconic form will finally use it. Surrounded by four. But Captain Twig's had a lot of Ooh. damage up against Slayers. The lightning will oh. bounce between Genetics. One more hit is all that's needed. And Cyclone Spin's gonna be the one that's La ulti de Jingwei no es como una mierda comprimida, tío. Pa matar, digo. Pa huir esta cojonuda. This tier one tower, the Tartarus Titan. Bueno, no va a tener todo, ¿no? To try and chase this one down, just the scare of his blessing, but the tower bueno, is on the menu. Ya que el dios es para vírgenes, hacemos la última de para vírgenes. No hay razón alguna de llevarlo bien. He'll use the ages to get away and try and buy some extra time. Oh, the scare of his blessing will make sure he's got a path on out. That was such a sick play. No way BMT can check quickly. Unfortunately, he's not playing those Baba Yagas. Aurora could be in some trouble here. BMT jumps in a lot of damage. He looks gonna be good. Aurora rooted in place. Doesn't have the scare of blessing this time. Time around, Big Man T. Now see that the Titans have started the Fire Giant. Captain Twig and Variety on the back side of the wall. Captain Twig waiting inside the wall. Silence finds a few different players. The Fire Giant is being 50-50 by the Titans. Uf. They will grab it, but a rush goes down. No. The Scarce Blessing uh, nice delaying his life just a little bit longer. Stunned out by the chupada, Coffin. Tío, madre the mía, está entrenado el Aries, tío. Down. Big Man Tings, Joder. Into the kill. SOT, Huge kill el ball, though. Uh, ese pone ulti el Cherno, eh. SOT in the air. SOT Se chasea y yo, ¿dónde están estos ahí tan atrás? Madre de mi vida, tío. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, Zygon no mata ese ni de coña, ¿no? Negativo. Tío, qué pero nada, la verdad, lo de llevar a DCs. Tienes cero CC, tío. ¿Quién tiene CC en Titans? Oh, tengo un Fenrir. Nice, tío. Y luego llevas un, una puta Jingwei, un puto Cherno, tío. ¿Qué hace? ¿Qué hace el Cyclone? Madre mía, hermano, qué puto alfa. Un root del Cherno muy fácil de dar. Fácil de dar mis cojones. ¿Dónde va el Cyclone? Madre mía, hermano. Remember when I said level of confidence on Cyclone Spin is immaculate to be able to make this kind of a dive. El chino siendo chino, pero no es chino. The variety getting low should go down, and he will. Sot picks up that kill in the midst of the fight.
Yo también pensaba que era chino, pero no. Pobre vietnamita. ¿Dónde va el Cyclone? Que no tiene beats. Oh, Cyclone knows his worth, eh. El tío se da suda. Está claro, ¿no? Él se ha contado un Luller que ha fallado el hacha y el pavo va a meter tres críticos sí o sí, ¿no? Pues se va a entre que se va a curar. Mira, 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 mira. Hermano, eh, pero esta Jingwei es de alfas, eh. Estoy cambiando la perspectiva totalmente de la Jingwei, eh. Bueno, de la Jingwei de Cyclo, nada más. Mira, mira. Pero este chaval está loco. Pero este chaval está enfermo. O sea, por favor, comparadme la Jingwei de Ataraxia, Barracuda o Netroid con la de Cyclo. Por favor, comparadla. O sea, para que os hagáis una idea. El Cyclone soy yo con Tyr Y los demás sois vosotros en estancia azul Toda la puta línea Los 20 minutos, los 20 niveles de Tyr En línea, en estancia azul eso, eso, Esa es la comparación There's got to be a lot thrown to him to kill this man. Oh, yeah. I would say so. And right now he's just dashing in. And we're oh, oh. That was 850 he just did to Big Man Tinks, who's now going to have to go back to the fountain to reheal right? all of that. Variety low. Variety picked up. Metroid. Madre mía, la ulti de Paul. Uh, no, nice ahead ahead ages, ahead. And the fountain will make sure that Netroid and Big Man Tinks live through that fight. The Tartarus Titans grouped up only as four because one had to go back to four. Oh no, se vienen Lions. Ah, no, no tengo un tiempo. Cyclone's been finds a couple of crits up against Netroid. Very low on the Shibalonke, but he will find his way out. Está enfermo. Under fire by the Tartar Sign, transform out of genetics, but it's the leap away. The coffin will pull in a roar. Huge gameplay del Cyclone. Madre mía, cabrón, está loco. Coño, un mamana. I mean. Tu pick favorito es la solo. Siento decepcionarte. Será jungla. Ahora ganan los Kings. Joder, el Cyclone, tío, troleando. Just holding on to his relics over everything else and just eats crit after I can't even say crit after crit after crit because it was just kills. Meanwhile, Captain Twig dies. Paul le ha dado todos los básicos. El puto Fagno está cuajado. We'll be able to find a path out thanks to Big Man Tings. Even with SOT's rotor, we'll steal away a couple of offerings. So first trebuchet of the game goes to the Tartar. No usan soportes tampoco. Si con soporte se refiere a Guardians, alguno habrá muy de vez en cuando. Nice, nice. To find the escape path out, will he get enough distance? Now with the chariot crashing down, the cyclone's been Captain Twig is the one in danger, and he'll have to use the colossal fury to fight back into three. But that's a couple of hunters in the man, probably not the target that you want to fight by yourself. Yeah, Paul is not going to be making that rotation over, so the old is down, and Roar sends him up. Eh, esa buena, eh? Follow this one up, no. Oh, nice dash, though. Get that one out, but now genetics might be in some trouble. Does dash through, but genetics have thrown right in the middle of four again. Sot picks up the kill, and now Netroid is rotating over big trip. And another follow up on Netroid finds one. And Big Man Ting's now on the oh, way. Airstrike no. in Netro to close the gap up against Layers. Oh, no. But now it's a sanctified field on the tail. Vaya, Netro finds the double kill. Tío. Amends the fight. Shaft and Twig will mira, go mira, down. Mira, Tings, mira, Tings. May finally slow down this push in. Media puta hora ahí, eh? Kills for the Tartar. Camelot Kings took it last time it spawned in. The Kings are baiting people that's not forward. Pyro. No, that's, uh... That's Pyromancer's big brother. SOT loses his beads instantly in the midst of the fight. Roar finds a double mez in the back line. But SOT is just being Yo! ran by Captain Twig. Thorns are popped. But Captain Twig doesn't have his nice, ultimate nice. out of here. He will fall down. Bien, 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 bien. Credit to the kill. SOT still alive after all of that. Layers gets that shield up online just in time. To get away from the brunt, but a lot of the players. Emano, fuck, Pedro, tío. Seems like every time the Camelot Kings. They had to murder. Yeah. Able to find something massive back to make sure the gold still stays in their favor. This time it's just the level 17 on the Jing Wei compared to level 14 from Cyclone. Big Man Tings fighting against Layers finds a good stun against Nemesis. Variety is here, and Variety will make sure that Layers has a path out. But Captain Twig finds a knock up on the dash right after Layers does not have his shield any longer, and so he does not have a health bar anymore. Variety picks him up. 
yeah. just yet. He will remain there. La picha, tío. Captain Tuga plays zone duty up against Paul. Fire Giant, unless by some miracle from SOT or Paul, will go over to the Camelot Kings. And it looks like SOT y might be getting chased down here. Has to go up into the ult, but he's getting crit by... Oh. Yeah, he's gone. There's wow. no way he survives that one. Didn't even have the opportunity to use a relic at that. You can just run into a Phoenix for free. But with Captain Twig's ult, it looks like Genetics is going to bring them all somewhere to the right no, side. Yeah. Phoenix, maybe? Yeah, right side. Bringing a minion right in so they can grab. That is the classic combo that Genetics loves to pull on this god. And it's one of the re with some of the honey. Madre mía, el puto SOT. variety lo que quita, loco. Aurora goes in, and Aurora might just go down into the sleepy time passive. Aurora right? will not be able to hold himself out. Variety gets one, and Captain Twig batting away in the back line will distract the other four members of the Titans. Yeah, when Aurora goes down, you don't have the onk for the baby, and Captain Twig will be only Paul to defend sanctified field up Paul will charge up his damage from the end but genetics will hopefully be able to burn through this mid Phoenix fast enough to now bring the minion wave over to the left side and take the last Phoenix away and that will be a clean sweep of all of the birds for somebody to answer to each one of them yeah layers is looking to be on captain twig duty whereas a is going to start getting very annoying with the honey poke, Aurora is going to take a lot of damage Aurora here. doesn't have his passive this time. Netru and finds a big crit up against Cyclone. The fight has already gone south for the Tartarus Titans. They're going to need a big turnaround in the 4v5. Sanctified field by Paul gets a lot of damage. Variety low used the beats to get out. And Aurora will zone them all away. But Captain Twig is still batting away on the Vamana. And the Camelot Kings in game number three are able to turn it around and keep their... And Horace, we already talked about how high a kill pressure that is from the King's end. How does that lane play from the Tatra side? Try to work on over towards the right side by taking those smaller harpies as well. But Layers, fishing for something over on this right-hand side. Variety has his beads, but the beads are going to save you from this. The stun is good, nice. but the Brutalize is even better. Layers picks up first blood. Está muerto, está muerto el twig. Pops the beads early. El man, no sé, uno cada aos. No more chase available. Hold that oh, thought. He's got to hit two abilities Solo here. Low kill. Maybe just needs some help from Cyclops, but who misses everything. Variety oh. is boxing it back out, and he takes him oh, down. For Variety. What a big turnaround. And then what an even better turnaround from the Kings. That gets on the beads and right land. He has the wraparound. This oh, should be does. clean. Yeah, Variety's going to get stunned out. Picked up. And SOT will just pepper a couple of autos in. Oof. And then Layers will clean up the job with the Brutalize after. Nice. Another kill for the Tartarus Titan. It's going to be a 50 50 by the Camelot Kings. No. They'll give up the Gold Fury. The Circle of Protection. Y nos la llamamos nosotros. Yeah, Let's go. To the sky. And the Tartarus Titans steal away the Gold Fury. Genex has got to get out fast. It's out one earlier to confirm a kill. Pero jungla. Es otro rollo. Dios, Varios y pobrecitos no cuatro, tío. Oh no, Captain Tui, ¿cuál es el muerto? Oh no, Layers. Oh, huge from the boys. Treinta de julio, último de julio, referencias. Is nowhere in sight, so they'll be able to pull this one very Esa te voy a tirar, chaval. Rory sort of trying to be looking for variety or Captain Twig, doesn't matter. Cyclone Spin wants to join the fight. Variety is going to be a good one. No, he's going to be a good one. He hopes, but there's now a fourth one there, and it's not even necessary. It's just Pero that so it's easy to To take out the solo lane of the Camelot Kings, protection will be some easy confirm, and no one. The Camelot Kings are yet anywhere close, so this will go um, away the Titans for free. Tío, yo pensaba, Miguel, no one close, que la peña... Time for somebody to get close, where previously eh, the Kings kind of struggled to drop Que la peña que se ponía lo de Might so Competitive Player. Miller jumps in, but has now jumped into two. Captain Twig is here, but he's level 12 on this Loki. Había dejado de existir, yeah, pero es que ahora right yeah, I don't think ha trascendido a un nivel extra, que es Smite no Pro Player. O sea, es impresionante, ¿eh? Porque se sorprende tanto de que le haya matado un Fenrir a un Tower is gone. He's jumping in consistently. Maybe Captain Twig tries to find Ooh. a solo kill. Layers. He's down to take this fight too. He doesn't care. He's down to level. Oh layers. no! That's a solo one v one kill. Layers. Layers to find another one up. And, uh, uh, a random pick, something. Because right now the Tartar side is going to take this. Van a ser la dime ya. Yeah, definitely hurt them on that FG and backed immediately. I'm not going 
for the 50-50 into a circle of protection with a polynomial. Before the Tartar Titans push into the Phoenix yet again. The Fenny pegara mal lento. Over here towards the left side. Seems the Tartar Titans are going to make a full rotation towards mid. Variety gets rooted out. The Aegis and the Beads are both gone. And so is Variety. Layers picks up the first kill of the fight. And it looks like they are going to be looking for this mid Phoenix here. Thousands of dollars are on the line. Are looking that healthy. Cyclone Spin's going to find some decent damage left. But Captain Twig has the body blocks. That's going to be enough. Genetics holds in. None of these birds are down. Oh, no! But not good enough. Paul picks up Captain Twig off the full rotation. Rotation from the Tartarus Titans. The left side Phoenix will go down. The Tartarus Titans will back away as Fire Giant has now worn off of all the members. Damage coming through for the Tartarus Titans. The Emperor's armor is still going to be effective here for these two last Phoenixes that they'll wait out this Fire Giant one more time. SOT hasn't done any damage to this Fire Giant, I mean, to this Phoenix. He's just looking for picks on a Captain Twig. This is the Axe Toss. Captain Twig trying to get away from Layers. He gets picked up and not quite put down. Captain Twig does have the ult to find a way out. Layers dies to the Fire Shard, though, and that's a turnaround. Then the cap down one axe from SOT could mean a Ragnarok from Layers, and that could be all it takes. Netroid gets blinked on, and that Phoenix goes down very fast. Yeah, Phoenix is gone. Genetic can't get the stun in time, <laughs> finish up that Bumbus hammer. Now the Tartarus Titans, what can they do differently? They have to spread the map a little bit better. Right now, SOT going no mid and the rest of the person to try and get a relic, to try and get any damage. Yo, that's the Phoenix! SOT has been missing. Este Genetic chaval está cuajado, tío. And Arud is good up against the couple. But the Phoenix is finally Gracias. chipping away. It's not enough damage to take it down just yet. Madre Still mía, two tío. minutes and 14 seconds. The Tartarus Titans, time is on your side. Es que you have probably shots tío. from Paul. Just wait for him to use an ability, get a Polynom gun shot, Aurora blink in and create some space, that right bird's gonna fall. Hallelujah, Finally the right tío. bird goes down, some damage Hallelujah, from Pigman teams up against layers, Netroy alone, Netroy's Netro Netro got to use the Aegis, and Aurora loses out on his bubble off the, try to take it down, circle of protection dropped by Paul, pasa, Hans, but Variety man? makes his way out, has to use both of his relics to do so, Estamos and now, Trelly, all three Phoenixes ya, of the Kings sí, are eh? gone. There's nothing else to hide behind the Camelot kit. Who gets that ultimate, they can go for but 10 seconds. Players is gone and he's got oh, genetics. Oh, 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 he finds the first kill with the circle of protection down and so is the tight. MVP Variety, la verdad es que sí. Ha ayudado bastante a que la última partida no se alargue tanto.